Red Velvet Irene recently did a TikTok challenge with her newest SM Entertainment Juniors, NCT Wishes You Sure and Shown. A fan of NCT Wish posted the TikTok video but covered Irene's face with an emoji. The tweet talked about how Shown is a fan's and took a quick glance at Irene during the video while You Sure looked at the camera. Many Red Velvet fans were not pleased with Irene's face being hidden, claiming it was an act of subtle misogyny. They accused the male fan of disrespect towards a female idol. Some fans reversed the covering by putting emojis over over the boys' faces instead. Most called the original poster's actions simply disrespectful. Meanwhile, Red Velvet fans and others have been enjoying the fun TikTok collaboration between Irene and the NCT Wish members that can be seen without any obstructed faces. It was going great for Red Velvet Irene as her apology post from the past attitude controversy resurfaced online. Many fans saw this as Irene genuinely reflecting on her actions as the post was never deleted unlike what other idols usually do. They praised how honest and professional she was for keeping the apology up. But then some hateful fans started spreading malicious comments. They said Irene was trying to seem innocent but was really just as bad as other idols. Getting angry that she wasn't fully cancelled like others, they accused her apology of not being sincere. Some even brought up old rumors to attack her character. It turned toxic fast as antis jumped in to leave more hate. They said she's fake and watched for any small thing to condemn her. Fellow Reveloves tried defending Irene but couldn't stop the onslaught of nasty accusations coming from those claiming to support her group. It became an online storm of negativity aimed at Irene, all started from fans who suddenly turned. Karina has always been envied for her beautiful tall and slim figure in Espa. However, she has expressed feeling insecure about never being able to develop visible abs despite working out. Karina has said before that no matter how much she trains, she's never had abs since birth. But recently a picture started circulating online showing Karina in a a way that appears she may have gained more muscle definition in her stomach area. While some debate if it's just her pose or lighting making any muscles pop more, many fans are praising Karina's hard work and effort that seems to have helped her achieve the toned abdomen she wanted. Both abs and non-abs, Karina has always been stunning with her diligence inspiring others. It seems all her training may have finally helped her obtain something she strived for in her body. Jisoo is known for her visuals as a member of Blackpink. She recently dazzled at Cartier's 100th anniversary celebration in Singapore. Jisoo wore a unique mini dress from GCDS Spring Collection that accentuated her slender figure. Pictures show Jisoo radiating beauty as she interacted with people at the event, including fans. She rocked the dress that highlighted her toned physique. Videos online captured her stunning visuals on full display. From her hair to outfit everything was perfect. Jisoo's flawless look had all eyes on her at the Cartier event. Always maintaining her gorgeous image, Jisoo once again wowed with her picture-perfect appearance befitting to represent such a prestigious brand. She truly embodied body goals for many with her night out in Singapore celebrating Cartier in high fashion style. Biongia and TXT kicked off their tour at the Tokyo Dome. MOA are beyond proud since Tokyo Dome holds over 55,000 people. However, it was also bittersweet as Biongia injured his ankle and and needed crutches. Despite wanting to do all activities, doctors advised rest. Still, Biongi joined the members for the concert. Parts he couldn't perform were covered by Taehyun. The members included Biongi whenever possible giving him piggyback rides to greet Moa. During a miracle, Biongiu broke down in tears seeing the members support him. They immediately comforted Biongiu with Yeonjin dedicating his part. Subin also cried during the emotional song. At the end, Biongiu said he felt regret not dancing, but is thankful for the support. It was a touching night, but the members and Moa ensured Biongiu knew he wasn't alone. Some I fans were feeling excited after seeing clips from the group's London concert showing the members having fun interacting with each other. In one clip, Lisio is seen wearing a crown while joking around with Won Young. Won Young then takes the crown from Lee Seo's head and puts it on herself, as the two friends laugh and smile. However, not all fans saw this interaction in a positive light. Some began accusing Won Young of being disrespectful towards Lee Seo and acting like the, the main character. They claimed she was being rude and trying to steal Lee Seo's spotlight. Comments began flooding in, with some fans saying Won Young always has to be the center of attention. A few even called her a, a pick-me girl, insinuating she was only interested in gaining male attention. Fans of Lee Seo also joined in, saying Won Young should have left the crown on Lee Seo and not drawn attention to herself. They argued Won Young seemed too full of herself. As more fans watched the clip, the criticism of Won Young only grew stronger. She was labeled self-centered and inconsiderate of her fellow members. No one could understand why she had to take the crown right off of Lee Seo's head. Of course, not all fans agreed with this characterization. Some defended Won Young, pointing out that both she and Lisio were simply joking around as close friends do. They shared other photos showing Lisio happily fixing the crown on Won Young afterward. But their positive viewpoints were in the minority, 
as an increasing number of fans unleashed their criticism against Wan Young and her supposed main character behavior, some New Jeans fans were excited after seeing the announcement of Hype's collaboration with the Grammy Museum for a special exhibition showcasing their artists. They looked forward to learning more about New Jeans' journey and seeing items from the group on display. However, upon taking a closer look at the details, some fans noticed New Jeans was missing from the list of featured acts, while other smaller labels and soloists under Hype, like Katsai and Zico, were included, New Jeans had been left out. At first fans wondered if it was simply an oversight, but then comments started pouring in, with some fans accusing Hype of purposely erasing and mistreating New Jeans once again. They argued this was the latest proof that Hype did not truly support the group. References were made to past issues like the conflict between Adair and Hype. Fans began angrily criticizing Hype, saying they were actively sabotaging New Jeans' success. More negative comments rolled in, with some fans harshly labeling Hype as liars who are only using New Jeans for publicity during the initial controversy. They said Hybe never cared about the group and were now attempting to erase their influence. Some even demanded New Jeans leave Hybe altogether. As more fans debated online, many turned strongly against both Hybe and their relationship with New Jeans. Recently, twice Sana attended YSL Beauty event in Japan. The brand uploaded photos with Sana on their social media. However, fans noticed that YSL Beauty had reacted positively to a malicious comment left by a fan. The comment accused Sana of copying Blackpink's Rose. When fans saw the brand engage with such a negative comment, they expressed major disappointment with YSL Beauty on their pages. The brand was quickly forced to upload an apology, stating it had been a mistake to interact that way. Still, Fans were not satisfied. They heavily criticized the brand, demanding accountability for the employee who made the error. Rose recently stunned fans with her pictures for St. Lawrence summer campaign. Displaying incredible charisma and aura, she dazzled in luxurious outfits from the fashion house. Wearing a loose ponytail and nude makeup, fans remarked on her overwhelming presence in a lace dress, bodysuit and short black dress that showed off her long legs. However, not all fans were complimentary. Some angrily commented that Rose only received praise because of her status as a K-pop idol. They mocked her poses as trying too hard and said ordinary people could look just as good in the expensive designs. Others questioned if she even needed to model since she seemingly just relied on her fanbase for popularity. Fans were stunned by Lily's newly unveiled dark brown hair at the airport. Known for her vibrant colors, this drastic change left people in awe of her beauty and versatility. Many praised her bold reinvention, calling it a game-changer look. However, not all fans were supportive. Some angrily declared Lily seemed desperate for attention by constantly altering her image. Others mocked that she must be insecure if always needing validation through new styles. Criticism grew that she relied on shock value rather than talent. Soon fan wars erupted as conservatives labeled her daring while others defended her creative freedom. It's clear Lily's transformation has further polarized opinions, with fans now more divided in their views of Mix's daring visual. Fans greatly anticipated G Idol's comeback with a klaxon, and its performance video did not disappoint. Soyeon in particular impressed with her confident stage presence and choreography. However, her lifting of her shirt during a dance move sparked controversy. Many praised Soyeon's bold attitude and body positivity, but others harshly criticized her daring move. Some fans declared her too exposed and complained she seemed desperate for attention. Criticism attacked that her dancing looked unskillful and embarrassing. Arguments grew more heated as fans wars erupted online. Conservatives labeled Neverland's defending her as insensitive to their culture. 